Hello, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we have just a quick review about classifying triangles. I know you covered this in elementary school, but we just need to go over it really quickly so we, so we remember so we can move on and do some more things with this knowledge. There are two ways that we're going to classify triangles this year, and you can do it by sides and by angles. Two ways to classify triangles by their sides and by their angles. By sides. Here are the three different ways to classify the triangles by sides. First one is we have a scalene triangle. In a scalene triangle, none of the sides are congruent. All the sides have a different length. When none of the sides are the same, it's called scalene. Uh, the next one, if I can separate these here, is isosceles. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. These little marks that are going through the, uh, the sides of the triangle, that means those are congruency marks. So all the sides that have one mark going through them are congruent to each other. And in this triangle, the, the left side and the right side, they are congruent. And so it's isosceles, two congruent sides. The last way to uh, classify a triangle by its sides is, is an equilateral triangle. And that just means that all of the sides, all three sides are congruent. Equilateral, or equal, all three sides are the same. Okay, so when you look at a triangle, any triangle is either going to be scalene or isosceles or equilateral. That's how to classify by sides. Now, let's classify by angles. Three ways to do that as well. Here on the left, we have a right triangle. A right triangle has one right angle. And you always know that it's a right angle because of that box that's in the corner that says this is 90 degree angle, it's a right angle, so it's a right triangle. Another kind is the acute triangle. In an acute triangle, all three angles are acute. Okay, not just one, not just two, all three angles have to be acute. That's different than the obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle only has to have one obtuse angle. Kind of like a right triangle, there's just one right angle. In an obtuse triangle, there's just one obtuse angle. And obviously we're talking about this angle right here. It's obtuse greater than 90, but less than 180. Okay, so let's, um, let's look at a few triangles. I'll just draw some real quickly here. Um, example one. I'm gonna draw as best I can. We're gonna go by how things are labeled and not what they look like. There are two ways that we can classify this triangle. We need to do it by sides and by angles. Sides and angles. If we look at the sides, what do we know? Well, there's three of them. It's because it's a triangle. But two of the sides have congruency marks. If two of the sides are the same, then what kind of triangle is it? That's right. It is an isosceles triangle. If we look at the angles, what kind of triangle is it? Well, because of the right angle, that means it is a right triangle. So we would say the whole thing is an isosceles right triangle. Two adjectives go with every triangle. Uh, let's do another one. Let's do... How about this one right here? Again, we need to classify it by its sides and its angles. 
we look at the sides, all three of them have congruency marks, which means it is equilateral. Equilateral when, oops, spelled that wrong. Equilateral, all three sides are congruent. And all of the angles appear to be less than 90 degrees. So we will say that it is an equilateral acute triangle. You get the idea? Every triangle gets, gets two adjectives that describe it. One that describes the sides, one that describes the angles. This was just a quick review, but if you have questions, write them down, and we'll talk about them in class. See you soon.